16-year-old from the Bronx is fighting for his life after being stabbed earlier this week. And tonight, his father is speaking out to Fox 5, pleading for those responsible to come forward. Fox 5's Jessica Formoso spoke with him one-on-one. -on -one. Solo justicia, solo reclamo justicia. Jaylot Eusebio Fermin, the father of the 16-year-old who was stabbed near his school in the Bronx, held back tears as he stood outside Jacoby Medical Center. I cannot describe the pain that I feel, the anguish, the uncertainty. This is a very difficult time. He says his son Jeremy remains in the intensive care unit fighting for his life, claiming the teen was lifeless once he arrived at the hospital. He lost a lot of blood. His heart stopped. It's a miracle that he's alive. Jeremy, who arrived in the Bronx a year and a half ago from the Dominican Republic, was stabbed in the stomach on Tuesday as he was leaving the International School of Liberal Arts. According to police, it happened at around 2.30 p.m. They believe this wasn't random, but he was specifically targeted. The NYPD is now looking for five individuals who ran from the scene. They they have been bothering him for a long time, harassing him, waiting for him to leave the school. Those boys obviously are not from my son's school. The father says this youth violence needs to stop, pleading for the suspects to come forward, saying he wants justice for his boy. Come forward, be responsible for your actions and the pain you have caused. I don't want to see another father go through what I'm going through. Jeremy underwent five surgeries and his father says he most likely will need more. As for the investigation, we reached out to the NYPD tonight. They tell us no arrests have been made. In the Bronx, I'm Jessica Formoso, Fox 5 News.